Hey guys, welcome to another video from the MC Garage. This time around, we're comparing conventional double-sided swing arms to single-sided swing arms. All right, you guys asked in the comments and we listened. What is with single-sided swing arms? Like forks, brakes, clutches, and other major components on motorcycles, there is some variation in how things are done. In this case, how the rear wheel is attached to the bike. The swing arm has to support the rear wheel, pivot at the frame so the suspension can do its thing, and deal with some pretty major loads. Besides the weight of the bike and the rider and any luggage you might have on there, engineers have to take into account lateral loads encountered while cornering, as well as twisting forces imparted by the drivetrain. To handle that stress, a swing arm needs to be strong and stiff. Most of the time, that's accomplished with a traditional double-sided swing arm. There's a lot of variation when it comes to swing arms, but in its simplest form, it's little more than some rectangular steel welded together. Simple, cheap to manufacture, and totally effective. Some bikes, however, like this King Kong KTM 1290, have a single-sided swing arm, and this setup does have some advantages. First of all, there's style. There's no doubt that the marketing department has a lot to do with selecting a single-sided setup, but besides good looks, this swing arm offers easier wheel removal and chain maintenance. With a traditional swing arm, you have to remove the axle, get your hands greasy, putting the chain aside, deal with the sprocket carrier and the wheel spacers and the rear brake, all of that to remove your rear wheel. But with a single-sided swing arm, all that stuff stays on the bike. You just have to spin off the axle nut and slide the wheel off. Fast wheel changes are a huge advantage in endurance racing, which is where this technology first became popular. In racing, a single-sided swing arm also lets you mount the muffler closer to the bike's centerline for steeper lead angles and better mass centralization, while on the street, it makes it easier to mount larger, closer-fitting side cases. Another advantage is the ease of chain adjustment and alignment. With a single-sided swing arm, the alignment is fixed from the factory so you don't have to futz with those vague hash marks on chain adjusters. But there are some drawbacks. For starters, you only usually see single-sided swing arms on higher-end bikes because they're more expensive to make. A single-sided swing arm is at quite a disadvantage when it comes to all those loads it has to handle, so the design has to be a lot more complex. And with complexity comes price. And while you can remove this wheel with common tools, to get the wheel off of a single-sided swing arm bike, you might need a massive socket like this, or perhaps even a special attachment like this. In either case, not the kind of stuff your average home mechanic is gonna have handy. And unless your bike has a center stand, you're gonna need a special single-sided swing arm paddock stand. That being said, some bikes like BMWs not only have a center stand built in, but they've got automotive style lug nuts, so it really is easy to get that rear wheel off. Speaking of BMWs, most of them have single-sided swing arms. Same goes for scooters. That's because the manufacturer is already designing a big assembly to hold the drive shaft and gears or the pulley and belt on a scooter. So it's just a little more work to make that whole assembly also support the rear wheel. As with our discussion of right side up versus upside down forks, link right up there in case you missed it, weight, specifically unsprung weight, is a big topic of debate with swing arms. So, a lighter swing arm would definitely be advantageous, but which style of swing arm is lighter really depends on the bike. There is no hard and fast rule that says one setup is lighter than the other. And finally, that brings us to the topic of handling advantages. There are none, at least none that are significant enough that you're gonna notice. So when it comes down to it, single-sided swing arms are sexy, they offer easier wheel removal and chain maintenance and alignment, but that's about it. And that's about it for this episode of MC Garage. Hope you learned something. I hope you'll subscribe. Please leave your comments and ride safe.